Thousands of people gathered in Sydney's Prince Alfred Park Sunday morning to show their support for the federal government's proposed carbon tax as part of a nationwide campaign organised by community action groups. Mums, dads, kids and climate activists made up the crowd of an estimated 8,000 urging the government to put a price on emissions and invest in renewable energy. Some held politically charged banners and placards with slogans criticising the opposition and calling for a policy shift from investments in coal to clean energy. Simon Sheikh from activist group GetUp, one of the campaign organisers, said it was time for the government to act on climate change. Of your efforts, that's because of the movement that you have built to say yes to a price of pollution and yes to clean energy investments. Yeah. Polluters, we know they don't like this campaign. They've been polluting for years for free and it's time they invest in clean energy. It's time we incentivise them to clean up their act. And right now, right now, our politicians are negotiating a carbon price. But we say to them, make it ambitious. Make sure it invests in clean energy and energy efficiency because we are ready to power our economy with 100% renewable energy. We say yes. We say yes. yes! That is incredible. Rallies were held in cities across the nation to coincide with each other as part of the Say Yes campaign, which kicked off last Monday with a TV advertisement featuring the actress Kate Blanchett. About climate change. So let's say yes, Australia, because yes is what makes this country. The controversial ad generated a media storm after the actress was criticised by parts of the media for being out of touch with families, especially in Sydney's West, who are struggling with the costs of living. But Parramatta resident Ramya Krishnan from the Australian Youth Climate Coalition told crowds residents in her community were just as concerned about climate change as the rest of Sydney. Who is struggling just like everyone else but who want to leave a better world for their children to grow up in and for future generations. Today brings us one big step closer to realising that dream. And I know that my friends, my family, my neighbours, my community is behind us today. The shock jocks don't speak for Western Sydney, neither does Tony Abbott. today because I won't let them define our community's narrative. Together, let's not allow them to define our nation's narrative. People attending the rally were handed campaign flyers outlining the case for a carbon tax, which they were encouraged to distribute to their neighbours. Sydney cider Suzanne Mortimer says she'll be among those spreading the word. I felt like I believe in it, but I've never had a chance so much to yeah. come along to one of these 